Hello, I'm Rob Trengrove. I'm the Director of the Separation Science and Metabolomics Laboratory at Murdoch University, uh, which we also call the Advanced Mass Spectrometry Facility. And uh, the laboratory slash facility is one of the core facilities we have here at Murdoch University. So in our laboratory, we uh, focus very much on metabolomics. And metabolomics is a new and exciting field of research. Um, whilst it in essence has been being studied for about 10 or so years. It's really only within the last decade uh, and, and even within the last five years, particularly where we've seen some very significant advances in mass spectrometry equipment, in nuclear magnetic resonance, uh, spectroscopy equipment, and in uh, computing power and software that we've really been able to start making some very significant inroads. Metabolomics per se is the attempt to try and measure as many of the molecules or compounds in complex systems as possible so that we can actually work out which molecules are outside of their normal ranges or which molecules or compounds are causing uh, or, or being affected by a disease from human health right through to agriculture and beyond. We can start to look at uh, environmental health etc as well using these techniques. The uh, Separation Science and Metabolomics Laboratory has effectively been uh, the best part of 15 years in the building. We started putting together the facility back in 2000 and then in 2003 we started uh, getting very much involved in the metabolomics research as well and as part of that ongoing process and because of our expertise in separation science over many years, we have built up a lot of expertise. We've also built up a lot of in-house tools so that we can actually make sure that the uh, data quality we produce is the best it can be. And we've developed procedures to work with uh, our collaborating groups to make sure that they understand what it is actually they're going to get from metabolomics and how metabolomics will actually benefit them. Our laboratory has a range of sophisticated mass spectrometers and these include triple quad gas chromatography mass spectrometers, triple quadrupole liquid chromatography mass spectrometers, as well as high performance instruments such as quadrupole time of flight mass spectrometers and GC quadrupole time of flight mass spectrometers. And in addition, we also have a, another piece of equipment which is an imaging mass spectrometer, which is a, an even more recent development where we can actually take tissue sections and we can take, um, whether they're from humans, whether they're from animals or plants, we can actually look at this distribution within a tissue section. So we can actually understand how a plant responds to um, some uh, pathogen attack, how, uh, in fact, how plants develop. We can actually look at the, the growth ends to see exactly what compounds are being accumulated as the plants grow. So the Separation Science and Metabolomics Laboratory is one of the uh, important core facilities we have in, at Murdoch University. A key mark of the, the way in which the laboratory works is collaboration. And that collaboration is with researchers at university, with companies in uh, Western Australia, with companies in Australia, and also with companies internationally. And of course, we, we have uh, researchers at other universities and institutions around the world that we also uh, collaborate with on a regular basis. And it's these uh, collaborations that really define the strength of the Separation Science and Metabolomics Laboratory because metabolomics is a modern science that requires very much collaboration and we need to have lots of different groups involved. We need lots of different uh, expertise. We need people whose expertise is in biology, in chemistry, in physics, in mathematics, in statistics and bioinformatics and all of those are important so the collaborations as much as possible try to help link people that have got similar skills but also to utilise those collaborations that we have to support research and development that's done both within WA nationally and internationally. My driver is to make sure that everyone will have access to equipment to allow them to do research and development in, in the metabolomics area.